Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving myself a brand new self haircut using the Philips Norelco 3000, which was only $20. So if you've only got $20, I'm going to show you today how you can absolutely give yourself a brand new self haircut with just a beard trimmer. So without any further ado, let's get right into the haircut. So here is the before 360 of my hair before the self haircut. In this self haircut, I'm going to be shooting for mid fade on the sides and back and using my thinning shears to blend in my current haircut on top. Starting with no guard, which is the zero millimeter, I'm going to create my initial guideline about half an inch up the side of my head, stopping right around the end of my eyebrow. Notice how once I reach the back of my ear, I start cutting on a downward angle to create a U like shape that will meet at my occipital ridge on the back of my head. Make sure you are staying very patient and taking things slow, especially on the back of your head where it can be more challenging. Now using the one millimeter guard, go up about half an inch from that initial guideline. Always make sure that when you are moving up in guards, that the new guideline is the same half an inch all the way around your head. With the 3mm guard, go up another half an inch from our previous guideline that was done using the 1mm guard. The biggest thing about fading your hair is taking it slow and working in gradual increments up your head. So right here, I'm throwing the 1mm guard back on to begin fading in that hard line that was created between the 1mm and the 3mm guards. Using the corners of the trimmer, work in an up and down motion to knock out the hard line. This may take more time, but because we don't have a lever, this is the only way you can fade in the hard line. Now with the 5mm guard, go up another half an inch from the previous guideline. Also you guys, if you are not following me on Instagram, you can at Alex Curas. I post a lot of behind the scenes and you can really get to know more about me there. I always do my best to answer any questions that you may have regarding my videos, my self haircut course, or your self haircuts. Going back to the 3mm guard, begin using the corners of the trimmer to blend in that hard line that was created between the 3mm and the 5mm guards.
Now with the 7mm guard, go up another half an inch from the previous guideline, which was the 5mm guard. Make sure you are using a flick out motion once you start to reach the longer hair by your part line. Notice how throughout this self haircut, I'm gradually moving up my head with the new guards. Starting with the 0mm, then the 1mm, 3mm, 5mm, 7mm, and then finally the 9mm to finish off the fading by the part line. Going back to the 5mm guard, begin blending in the hard line that was created using the 5mm and the 7mm guards. Finally, with the last guideline, use the 9mm guard going up half an inch with the flick out motion. The flick out motion is the key here in order for us to not dig into the existing length of hair by the part line. The flick out motion creates a slight blend while you take off some bulk going up your head. Using the 7mm guard, work the trimmer in between the 7mm and 9mm guideline to take out that final hard line. For the blend by the part line, I will be using my thinning shears to connect the sides and back of my head to the top of my head. Now that the right side of my head is finished, we want to do all of the same exact steps on the left side. Again, starting with the no guard, which is 0mm, then the 1mm, 3mm, 5mm, 7mm, and 9mm guards to finish off the guidelines, and then use the corners of the previous guard to fade in the hard line between each guideline up your head. Two positive things that I can say about the Philips Norelco 3000, which again only cost me $20, is that the beard trimmer did not get hot at all the entire length of the self haircut. Because of filming and moving the camera around all the time, the self haircut ended up taking me about one hour, but usually if I don't have to film, it takes me about 20 to 25 minutes. So within one hour of running these trimmers, they were still cool to the touch. The second thing about this trimmer is that the guards that come with it are very good quality. The guards are a strong material and along with that, the guard lengths go up by 2mm instead of 3mm, which is what most clipper guards go up by. This makes it better for anyone who does not have a clipper with a lever because it makes fading a little bit easier due to a smaller gap in guard lengths. Unfortunately, this video is not sponsored by Philips. I just found the trimmers to work well for the duration of this self haircut and wanted to let you guys know what I liked about it.
just so you guys know, my self haircut course is now available to purchase on my website. If you want to learn how to save hundreds of dollars every single year by cutting your own hair and learn a skill set that will last you for your entire life, check out my self haircut course. You can say goodbye to your current hair salon or barbershop and begin this self haircut journey, saving yourself hundreds of dollars every single year on haircuts. In the course, you will learn all of the tips and skills that I've learned over the past 10 years of cutting my own hair in over 60 high quality videos. From how to use thinning shears, how to utilize your hands, wrists, arms, and body motions while looking through the mirror to give yourself a professional-like haircut, to how to properly cut the length on top of your head with scissors. Because yes, at some point over the months while cutting your own hair, you will need to use scissors and cut the length off. For these few reasons and a whole lot more, this is where my expertise will help you out a lot. If this sounds like something you are interested in, you can check out all of the course details on my website using the first link at the top of the description. I look forward to helping you become an expert self hair cutter and saving you a lot of money. Now that all of the trimmer work is complete, you can bust out the thinning shears and blend in all of the hair that was left uncut by your part line. And if you do not own a pair of thinning shears, I would recommend you either buy a pair because they are relatively cheap, or you can run the 9mm guard up into your part line to get that disconnected undercut look. So again, here is what my hair looked like before the self haircut. And this is what it looks like after using a $20 beard trimmer. It's absolutely insane how fresh and how clean this self haircut came out. Now it's your turn to make it happen as well. And if you guys like it, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you all so much for watching, but I'll catch you next time. Peace.